Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy from Land Down Under, Jetman99 here, bringing you a brand new Power Rankings video with not the Lazy Ghost, and with the Blazing of All Squids, the Blazing Squid. What a do, players and trainers, it's your boy, the Blazing Squid. And this week, are we doing the Power Rankings for week one? Uh, it is a bit late, I'm sorry, and there was, and there was like issues, it was like, Scheduling and that, as, as the lazy ghost just said, Jesse, uh, get squid, have him do it, because he knows what he's talking about. Okay, so, uh, okay, okay, so first on, the, on our agenda, I will actually show the schedule we had, and also the results, basically. A weird, a weird Alejandro versus Brennan, Alejandro came out with the win, then we had... Uh, Ramwood, which is Squid, and also Chris. Squid came out with the win, and then we had Brandon versus myself. I came out with the, with the win barely. Mark and DJ, Mark won. Matt then Trig, Trig won. Arthur and Carlos. <laughs> Carlos came out on top there. Jordan and Anthony. Anthony <laughs> prevailed, and then we had Stephen and Shay, and Stephen crawled his way to victory. And then on the, the right here, it like had the results and all like the differential that happened for him, basically. Okay, so, uh, next up, oh, we actually have our 9 to 16 rankings and squid. Uh, would you like to start with your number 16? All right, my number 16. All right, so I am on the... Right. Right. Okay, so I have Shay at number 16 while you have Brennan. Yep. Uh, all right. What I, why I placed Shay on 16. The reason I played Shay on 16 was because from his match, I did not see much other than Ditto. Yeah, like, that is true. 75% was him bringing in Ditto to try to counter. The and Mingus, yeah. that's it. Um, other than that, I didn't see much from his Mega. Didn't do much. Um, his... Like, none of his other core mods was doing much other than Ditto in that match. And that's something that really upset me because it's it's a core... It's a team game. It's it's a team-based game where yeah. every player or every Pokemon should have at least a role to do in that. Yeah. And I, that's really the, the fact I have him so down there. Um, Steven played phenomenal. He, he yeah. played all his cards right. But oh, we will get that to that when, when he's up Ditto here. But... Was, yeah. Ditto was like his only check... Because yeah. I, I feel like Shane might be a little bit uncomfortable with this team still. And yeah. that's my my reasoning behind yeah. this. And I uh, and actually I have Thumb Brother 2 at 16 because if you watch a battle, uh, and you know that that wasn't Brennan playing at all. That was just not uh, Brennan. Like, uh, like, he can play so much better. Uh, but to lose uh, 0 and 4... Uh, it's week one, and that isn't Brennan. I feel like that he isn't used to the team yet, and also with like the time sort of, it was like the time he had of like prepping all that. It wasn't the best of his ability, and that is why for me he is at the number sixteen spot. And then I have Jordan, yeah, uh, and then I have Jordan at number fifteen, and just like purely because uh, Jordan, uh, uh. Jordan came into the team with like a massive fire weakness and 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 he didn't play it as bet uh, as like as best as I like thought he could. Uh Anthony put up a uh, like a brilliant fight, don't get me wrong. Uh, but uh, but it wasn't much that Jordan did to like try and counter Anthony in a sense. He uh I thought as though he like just brought the first six months he saw, and was, and was like, "Yep, yeah, sweet, going with them." Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, Jordan usually has some gimmicks yeah. to his play style, and I, I didn't see much. I was expecting something, but like I think there was like what choice banded Garchomp, which yeah. Shuckle was able to eat those hits easily. Yeah, um, it was still regardless of a really close match. It was. But at, yeah, it was 2-0. Yeah, 2-0. So that's pretty close in my opinion. 
Uh, but I have a Brennan at 16, and it has to go along with the bit with what you said, uh, Brennan. Just when when Brennan has real life issues, he's not himself. Yeah, he's not himself. He doesn't really bring his best top tiers and whatnot. Which, regardless, he could have won the match still. Mm-hmm. But like, I felt like he was so so caught up with everything and stuff like that that he couldn't he couldn't put every all his efforts into the match, and then. As the game is going through, he's kind of getting outplayed here and there, and mm. maybe a little bit of crits and whatnot. But um, just, it's not the Brennan we're used to seeing, not the the LDL season two champ Brennan. In the past, man. In the past. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one that that brings the fire to every match and whatnot. Mm. Uh, yeah, and then what? I have Jordan at 16, 14, which I talked about a bit. Uh, Jordan did not have. Um, he didn't have a bad game overall, I would say. Mm. Um, the only thing is that the lack of defog really cost him a game. Yes. It really cost him a game. Uh, easily, he had talent flame for defog or spinner, but he had Cartana, he had Swallow. talent flame, he had Swallow. Three yeah. months capable of defogging, which could have helped him out in the long run, and mm. he did not bring it whatsoever, which cost them the game big time. Like, you have to. I understand that. Sometimes there's a kill right in front of you, but like if you watch the match, he kind of went for boom burst against uh, the Mega Ardeno. Uh, yeah. Where it's an easy mod where you can easily go for the defog. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're you're gonna know you're gonna be able to take a hit, go for the defog, then try to get the kill with the boom burst. You already have the toxic on it. Like, mm. get hazards off your side because yeah. that make, that allows Duxio to put in work. Puts a lot of months to get put in work. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then number fourteen, I should have Chris. Uh, uh, and, and he's actually gone up two spots. Uh, but I feel as though Chris hasn't like quite accompanied himself to the, uh, like the, uh, like the draft league format uh, because he did verse you, and and I feel as though uh, he actually got a taste of what it is to like actually play draft format. Uh, uh, because I, uh, because I'm pretty sure it uh, it is his first draft league format ever he's played. Uh, uh, apart from the I'll see off season we had, but yeah, but uh, oh, but what's this, Chris? Welcome to the league, mate, and 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 you're at number fourteen. Uh, it's just because because I feel like you haven't quite. Uh, adjusted to like the format yet, in a sense. Uh, and then I have Chris at eleven, so I yeah. think we should probably talk about Shay before I even. Yeah, we I will mean, DJ. We'll yeah. talk about uh, Shay, uh, Shay, and then DJ. So yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah so, we'll do yeah. Shay and then DJ, yeah. and then we'll jump into my yeah. Uh, 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 Shay for me is at thirteen because again what Chris uh, 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 Squid said uh, Ditto was most of the battle and he's actually here because he used Ditto really well as as much as he used it too much he actually used it to like to like counter the uh, the Amoongus and all that uh, but as soon as Ditto went down Shay just lost straight away basically yeah exactly yeah. sort of thing so yeah, uh, if so for DJ now, if you want to go on. Uh, DJ, okay, DJ, the number one rule about draft leagues is you speed creep, but you don't speed creep for Adamant. You speed yes. creep for their fastest yes. base stats. Yeah. I, as soon as I, I I saw you stayed in with Crook, I was like, okay, this Crook is gonna easily taunt the Mega Gyarados, prevent mm. the D dance, prevent the sweep. Yep. Gyarados went first. As soon as I saw Gyarados go first and you went for the taunt, I knew you messed up. You messed up because you sped crept the wrong area yeah. and it really just it went downhill from there. You had you had a team. You had the team to counter. <laughs> and actually he played phenomenal. From DJ the played really well. He was uh, making yeah. reads. Yeah. He was just he was I was like, this guy's gonna get the W. Yeah. He's gonna get the W and then and from that turn one, I was like, DJ has this hundred percent. He did. He did have it, and then and we just saw that, just that miscalculation yeah. of what's a speed creep cost you the game. I understand you yeah. may have won a little bit more power, but in the long run, 
Yeah. You could have saved yourself the sweep. Definitely. Yeah. And like, do you definitely make it twelve? If for that, if, if for that reasoning, because if, if, because turn one, I can't remember who it was exactly, and but I think he led Crocodile, and then get Mark lead uh, Jolteon. Yeah. And then Jolteon switched out, and he like made the read into the, uh, uh like, uh, into the Zatu, and then knocked off on it. Like, like the DJ played well. Uh, from turn one, about that miscalc with your set, lost you the game, and that is, and that is part of the reason why I that you were down the list in a sense. So if yeah. you want to go on with Brandon now, uh, Brandon, oh my God, Brandon, oh my God, my goodness, Brandon, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon, 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 Stealth Rocks, dude, yes. Yes. Stealth yes, Rocks. Yes. And I think one of the biggest things you overlooked is you have Zygarde. Zygarde, who's known for getting a D dance and destroying teams. Yeah. One D dance and I was, putting in work I lost. teams. One D dance. You brought. I, I don't think I saw Rocks. No, because there was, if, there, there, was no if rocks. there was Rocks, Mega Pinster does not have so many switches. If we saw the D dance, you can easily D dance and put in dance on teams. And I did two things you would commonly um, expect for Amon to have and not to see it. It's very, very yeah, uh, it's stressful to watch. I, I think you only had Reg Ice with a super effective move for it. I'm not uh, sure what else you had. Uh, 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 I, uh, I had Reg Ice and also had the the. Uh, the Reggie Rock sturdy ice punch for it. Oh, okay, Reggie Rock too. There. Yeah, and then I also had a pincer with the if you have with the resist. Plus a thousand arrows, you're putting in work yeah. even against the Reggie Rock. Like you are. But just try to maintain hazards, hmm. Brandon. You'll get. You'll see how how useful hazards are in matches ups like hmm. this. And if you ever have an opportunity where you can easily set up a dragon dance. I just watched Adri's video. I just I think for his championship league, he got Adri, um, he got Zygarde in, set up a D dance. A, his Yachi Berry was able to sweep. Like, mm. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So if you want to go on for your number eleven. Uh, my number eleven, Shay. No, that's no, not Shay. It's that the Chris. It's the other half Chris. of Shay. Yeah, the other <laughs> half. Uh, why do I have Chris at number eleven? Um. As you mentioned, it is his first um, time in the official mm. league draft. But he, he played I, well. Yeah, he did. I got to admit, <laughs> everyone watches our video and they're like, Chris has it. Chris had it. Chris had it. Like, the first half of the match is me trying to get myself into position, but Chris has me pinned. Um, I kind of played back the video. He had a Yachi Berry Lando. Had I stayed in, and I would have popped his Yachi Berry, but my Absol would have gone down. It was just like, it, he utilized the Berry so well. And the fact that it's his first time uh, in the league format like this, and to have used his Berries, which not everyone uses Berries, he and to use it this successfully against a tie to your player. Oh, ha, ha, don't I gotta give that you much. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. But, <laughs> but against one of the... Um, a former champ, to tell you the truth, um, and stuff like that. So it's ridiculous. Mm. Uh, I I was just I was stunned yeah. by Chris's performance. Yeah. Um, the only thing I could say um, he could have done differently, um, maybe just one thing was he could have utilized like the, the setup. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I like he's a he. Yeah, I like he's a Clefie's prankster at your advantage in a sense. Use that yeah, to like, yeah, he, to like screens and like get them up, and also like uh, toxics and all that. So. Yeah, but I, I, he other than that, he he played really well. It was just his opponent. It was a really really tough opponent. Got but, um, mm. the way he played that first half was amazing. Yeah. It was just he had nothing for Gyarados at the end when mm. it came to count. Yeah. Uh, and you have Matt at eleven. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, Matt. And he goes Trig, and Matt C 
season five champion, comes out, plays the best that he could, but I feel as though there were some plays where he was forced to like try and make a read, and then the read sort of failed on him, and he struggled against that type null of Triggs, and type null just absolutely walled his team, and then just and then just run house on that, cause him to panic, and then just make bad plays at the point where or like just cost him the game in a sense. So and that for me is like the reason why that Matt is an eleven. Matt uh uh Matt played really well. Uh, but you like had no counters for that type null. No, which in the end stuffed him basically. Mm. And I have uh, Matt, Matt at 10. 10. So that's pretty close for our, our, our power yeah. rankings and whatnot. But the fact is, uh, Matt did play. It was a close game for most of the game and stuff mm. like that. Um, um, and it's just the fact that, uh, like you said, I, I don't know. It's just the type no. Mm. I, I had to fight a type no in PGL. And the moment I saw that how fat and how much this thing can eat hits, mm. It, it, it kind of forces you to bring a knockoff user. Get, um, I might just never have one, I think. In that sense. Yeah. I, I think, yeah, so he, that knockoff users, I, I feel like, are very important in Draft League 4, man. Yes, they are. And also, th the fact that he kind of just, uh, late game, really late game, he wanted to get sticky webs up, and that is what kind of just yeah caught him off, off surprise. Um, so then go, trying to get that KO right in front of him or with that Kingler. Uh, expecting it to die and maybe just try to get up webs and stuff. Mm. That kind of was a huge downfall. Had he gone to, to attack the Kingler, it would have been a so, so much more different game than what yeah. we um, anticipated watched there. Definitely. And, uh, and, and in number 10. Ninth, I have. Well, not, uh, 10 for me. Sorry. Oh, you're 10. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I skipped ahead. Oh, good bro. Uh, uh, I should Brandon. And this for me, I know this is bias. Uh, if it, if it me, uh, this is just like respect, and uh, this is respect for Brandon. Uh, Brandon turn one, I went for Sticky Web, and if you look at my team, my team is the slowest team in the whole of the league. It is the slowest team by like five average points basically. Uh, Sticky Web caught me off guard, and then it put me on like the back foot for the whole match. Uh, I think at one point I was 5-2 down. Basically, yeah, yeah I was. And then I came back at a win at 1-0. And just from like two good reads, it was switches. And that helped me. And also the lack of his use for like hazards basically. If he'd had hazards up, I would have lost like 5-0. Easy. But, uh, a bit, a bit. he actually used uh, the Arcanine. He used that really well. Uh, he actually played that beautifully. Arcanine, Arcanine was a problem for my team, and it, and he just used it at, a, at like the best of his ability and just killed it basically. And that for me is like the reason why that he is at number ten. And for number nine, I actually have uh, Anthony, and this, uh, uh, a case over this. Uh, Anthony deserves. Gonna be in like the top eight, basically uh, in the top eight. But 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 and there was one loss for me that I like deserved to be up there definitely. So and that was, so for me uh, that is the reason why the Anthony uh, uh, is at nine, and and also because uh, I feel as though at, at for the shuckle he never used uh, he never used the shuckle. To like the best he could, uh, all he did, I was like basically use it as like death fodder, and not to take hits, and it's just not, and and this is something that I would like to see with a mod that is two hundred and thirty defenses, uh, that can take hits for days, and just and just like absolutely wall teams in a sense, yeah. But uh, but uh, but other than that, uh, Anthony played beautifully. Not much more we can ask from, uh, uh, from week one. And I hope that he gets a win in week two. Yeah. 
Um, and I have in ninth is Arthur. I, I wanted to place all my losses week one mm. uh, at the bottom. Even though it was a really, really close match, it was a match between two top contenders. Yes. Really powerful match to watch. Mm. But it was just... It was actually... Yeah, uh, well, I, you, I just... Yeah. I, I really... I can't go hand-to-hand with it. Um, I was kind of watching back this match now, and it was like a Starmie with just Roost, Taunt... Delfrox. I'm mm. not sure we saw the fourth move. It was just whirlwind. I might have missed it or whatnot. Right. But it's a very uh, the Stami. A very Star oh Starmory. I said Starmory, oh, but Star Scarmory. Yeah, 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 but like it's like a, I said like that and it's just a it's annoying to mm. deal with. But I, I understand and whatnot. But then it's he had Roost on that. He had Roost on Coco. I understand he wanted to play it passive mm. whatnot yeah. but it was just not the the offensive presence or pressure to get the w mm. and it, at the end that's why i think it didn't get the w he did not have the offensive yeah. presence that it needed to pull that through definitely uh and for number eight for me i actually have a uh, lazy ghost also and it's just for the same reason a bit a bit Arthur, the Arthur just lost this match due to like excellent prep by Carlos, and it was actually the winner of FPL season one, Lazy Ghost, and then the winner of FPL season two, Carlos, going at it in the LDL. It was an amazing battle to watch, basically, and and uh, uh, uh and Arthur just lost by the lack of counters, basically. Uh, Scarmory. Could have put in more work, but yeah, but uh, uh, but I feel as though uh, uh, Arthur played amazingly, and he just lost to like a better prep in a sense. Yeah, uh, I would have to agree with that. Mm. We'll get to that when we get to Carlos. Yes. And in eighth, I have Jesse. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jess. Oh, good word. Jesse in eighth because of the fact that he did win, which is awesome. I gotta give you congratulations. <clears throat> But it was just the sense that it was uh, a lack of prep from his opponent's side, in a sense. Um, Jesse did use all his right materials to to, to get the W in the end, to, to come back, to make that comeback that he needed after realizing, yo, my opponent's in him not bring Stealth Rocks. I can use Mega Pincer to his best advantage here and pull the W. Mm. But other than that, Brandon had him. Brandon had Jesse. He did. He did. And I, I will admit that he, he did. Just, it's like the perfect cake uh, recipe. You just missed that one ingredient, Brandon. Yeah. That one ingredient, and Jesse noticed that, took advantage. Mm. And then you have yourself there at seventh. Uh, yeah. What do you feel about your your battle? I feel as though that uh, 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 Brandon had me in a corner, and uh, uh, and we like the sticky ribs up. I just noticed that. Uh, if I was to able to make it like Mega Evolve Pinsa and then be able to swap and then be able to swap out and then swap back in, uh, my speed wouldn't drop and I was able to use that to like the best of my advantage and when they rocks up, I was like able to get in and get up a swords dance and just kill basically. Exactly. Yeah. And because I was what, uh yeah. five two down and I pulled it back for a over a one I win. So, mm. that's an amazing comeback. I was what five, three down. Yeah, at least for me. Uh, but seventh, I have Antony and the Victorville Victors, Victinis. I don't know. How <laughs> uh, I have Antony in, in seventh because I'm playing back this video and Antony really did f- play phenomenal. I I really gotta give him props overall. Just one misplay. I would say throughout the match, which was uh, instead of going for dazzling game, he went for the um, he went for the fire, the fire, a flamethrower, trying yeah. to catch Cartana. But at the same time, we kind of talked beforehand, and he told me that he had I beat his Mega Audino to live um, a Cartana small, smart smart strike. Yeah. Uh, at least at 75%, he could still take a plus one smart strike. Ooh, so he didn't have to go for the flamethrower, trying to catch his opponent off mm. with a move there. He could have um, preserved his that toxic. That toxic was crucial 
for Audino and how how long it was going to last on the field. But other than that first turn going, which was really risky, going for the sticky webs and the rocks uh, with potential three def- defoggers on Jordan's side, that was ballsy play. <laughs> but it worked out in the long run because I, I watched and he had the electric Sovali, so now his flying types were not able to go for stab flying moves but were forced mm-hmm. to go for other moves, and he was able to easily outspeed the rest of the team and get a super effective hit off or parting shot. So props mm-hmm. to Antony for that and uh, utilizing all that for his advantage. Yep. And if you want to talk about, uh, and if you want to talk about Alejandro for both of us and I'll tackle Mark. Uh, okay. So uh, Alejandro. Alejandro had a really good prep. Got a, um, He utilized uh, his team is defensive, which is, and I, I love that way Alejandro played the match. Alejandro played risky, and the risk paid off. It yeah. really did. Um, you kind of watch the match, and you see a Nine Tails that scarfed in against a uh, Menchow that scarfed. Because I talked to Brennan, and I was like, dude, weren't you running timid? And he said, no, I was running modest. And Alejandro took the risk running a jolly high jump kick scarf reckless might have been or regenerated was not sure mm. but and picked up the easy ko on the nine tails and i'm like brennan what went wrong and he's like i was running modest i did not expect him to go full thing which is another speed creep uh miscalculation there you speed you know speed creep was just timid and you guarantee the the kill there mm. but alejandro played risky it paid off he um phenomenal air balloon the air balloon heat trend saved them the game, and it, it mm. worked. I, I, it worked. It worked because um, Mega Gear. I mean, Mega Charizard X. Typical what? Thunder Punch, Earthquake, uh, maybe a stab fire move or a Dragon Claw. Dragon Death. Easily could have wrecked. Mm. Easily could have wrecked through, but due to the fact that heat trend was carrying that air balloon, yeah. which was amazing prep, got him to win. It so, was. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, uh, and also uh, uh, Alejandro took advantage uh, of Brennan and who wasn't him, himself in a sense and then just used that and then just took out the win uh, like the best he could and he came out on top. Okay, so uh, so for number five, it's both of us. Uh, we have Mark and this is because uh, Mark was on the back foot but due to that miscalc of DJ's, uh, uh, Mark took advantage of it, and, and Mark stormed back. And Mark came back with a vengeance. I got up the Gyarados Dragon Dance, and then just swept, basically. He uh, ended up winning 4 and with all four kills uh, from that Gyarados, basically. And Mark just played amazing with the Gyarados. I did end up dying in the end, but... But at, that po- but at that point, uh, Gyarados had like cleaned up the whole team, and then I think DJ had like one mon left, and there was like close to death. So, so I'm saying that uh, Mark played really well, took advantage of that miscalc by DJ, and just sort of came out on top, and was a powerhouse. Now, if you want to go for Trig, and then I'll tackle you. Uh, Trig. The, the reason I have Trig above Mark is because uh, Trig came in and he brought some amazing, uh, never before seen techs into this match. Uh, it was neck to neck. If yes. you watch the battle, it's pretty neck to neck between uh, Mark, uh, Matt and Trig here. Trig, this is his first time in an official league format. I, I'm not going well, and he just took the words right out of my mouth and I was like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Mm. He was able to go toe-to-toe in the ring with Matt and then at the end was able to catch Matt off guard, which I thought was a beautiful prep yes. of the Swift Swim, um, Normalium Z Splash. So now we're talking about a plus two speed Kingler with plus three attack, which is like, what does Matt have for that? I don't, Reggie Steele can't even take a waterfall in the, in the rain from that. It was just really, really play, um, well played. Uh, I think Trig used all his pieces. Uh, he said everything nicely. He said he everything did. nicely for the win. Dude. 
and that Normalian Z splash. That was just what. I think everyone caught everyone off guard. It did. It did. Everyone. A physical Kingja under the rain. Just uh, it was like basically one tree. I like the name of the year in a sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, and in number three, uh, I have uh, your man. Oh, the Blazing Squid, and Squid was in a corner, and he has actually gone down one spot, but that was due to better plays by other players, but, uh, but, uh, but he's number three. And just for the fact that uh, 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 Squid uh, was in a corner the whole game, basically, uh, and there was nothing he could do, and he was going to lose it, uh, but as soon as he got up at that one Dragon Dance, it was basically game over, uh... He's able to take down all of the walls at two Gyarados and just able and just able to like take advantage uh, of the power of the powerhouse as it is a, a as it is a Mega Gyarados and also uh, 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 with Chris uh, I don't really like uh, I don't really know if uh, uh, if you had. Uh, like any electric stab in a sense, did he? Uh, no, he only had a Heliolisk and he did not bring it. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it, uh, so, if you see a Gyarados, uh, you know that Gyarados, all it can do is just intimidate and D dance sweep. And that is all it is for, uh, but it works for it. And, and, and with the Chris having no sort of electric moves on his team, stuffed him. Because there was nothing that he could really touch Ellie Gyarados with, and and with Squid, uh, he's able to take advantage of it and come back and, and get the win essentially. Yeah, the only thing I would like to add would mm-hmm. uh, kind of you watch through the video, you see how how my thought process is. Mm. Uh, even though I'm kind of cornered, you see how as I, I start analyzing that Clef Key's gone, mm. so it's like okay, I can't get T Wave of Gyarados. Um, and the only other thing I need is rocks, hmm. and it, that one dragon dance, and I can be able to get that win. So yeah. I'm really glad I was able to place uh, everything the way I wanted to to try to get that W. Yeah. And then number two, we actually have number Carlos. Two. Do you want to take yeah. this one? I'll take Carlos. Uh, Carlos, it's just the prep was amazing. Prep was amazing from both ends. Um, I I didn't like some attack towards the end of the match but other than that it was it was toe-to-toe with arthur uh these we know these two teams are gonna be um potential playoff contestants where people are gonna have to face off against but you kind of watch through it and um good prep it's just amazing prep from both ends um i, I really like towards if you watch the match you see i mentioned that the skarmory had taunt so it taunted the the kofag uh, mm. And Kofag had um, the Gosium Z curse, so we know that Ghost Z moves go through through encores and taunts and stuff. Mm. So that was amazing to to see him use that and whatnot to break through the taunt. Um, to also do um, it, it had toxic spikes, so toxic spikes forced uh, Arthur to either bring in his Roserade and absorb it. Mm. But as soon as Roserade came down, Don Fan had to come in to then rapid spin them off but it's not getting the KO it needs and it has to take the poison and it was just really awesome mm-hmm. and then towards the end uh, Carlos really really had it uh, nicely I-, I like his the mix Skarmory caught I mean the mix Salamence caught the Skarmory off yes. guard so as soon as Skarmory went down it was like okay Metagross can do his thing now and that's yeah. what we saw Metagross take down the the Coco and the the Kyrian B at the end, which was mm. amazing to watch. But just the mix Salamence was my MVP. Oh, ready definitely for that match. Definitely. And, and holding, and it was holding the Yashi Berry, so it was going to yeah. be living a nice move either from the Scar, um, the Kyrian, or from the thing, mm. uh, or the Coco if it had Hidden Power Ice, which yeah. it did. So that was awesome. Mm. Even though Ar- Arthur had Hidden Power, uh, he had the Shuka Berry for the ground move. Yeah. But it was pretty awesome to watch mm. from both ends. It was, it was, it was. And without president uh, of TLTPG, uh, I'd actually like to hear your thoughts, Squid, 
on your reason why he's at number one versus Shay? Number one. Uh, number one, because he, he, he had the team. He really did. He had he had checks for everything. Um, mm. You kind of watch his match. Uh, <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Like, I think beforehand he was telling me, oh, I'm going to just go for the trick and put the choice specs onto the, the hip hop on. And to watch that fail and he did not know why the yeah. first couple yeah. minutes of the match was yeah. hilarious. But other than that, he had he had a game plan and his game plan worked out his game mm. plan was it was awesome i love the idea of mold breaker scarf extra drill so now the lot can't even can't even come in on a safe earthquake like i was like that's really high tier thinking of him of planning for him to bring in mm. um he had he had checks for everything and when i mean everything i mean everything but the diddle like, he just didn't know how to counter himself which mm. is funny so that and as soon as we saw diddle go, um, go down we yeah. mentioned it as soon as diddle went down he's yeah. like okay i need to do this this and that to yeah. get the kills and that's why as soon as diddle went down he was able to get that yeah five old sweep at the end there yeah after they went down uh precious played beautifully uh he was able to utilize all these months to the point oh like he only had the rotom heat die and i think and I think uh, that happened uh, while the Ditto was still alive. So, I just afraid. Uh, so just prayers, prayers, just pull it back. After one one going down, and it was causing him trouble to just take advantage of that, and just be able to do what he has to do and what is necessary to get the win and do it is just amazing to watch. And it is, uh, and it was a beautiful thing in a sense. Uh, okay, so yeah, yeah. okay. So with that being said, uh. A new segment of these power rankings are actually the LD, the Lonely Draft League uh, Battle of the Week, and and also and also uh, Squid and I have actually talked about this, and we actually uh, agree that Carlos versus Arthur get the win, uh, and as Carlos coming out on top as the victor, uh, he actually gets to collect his five dollars. Uh, via PayPal, uh, uh, yeah, uh, for the win, and also for having the best battle of the week. Uh, so Carlos, if you're still watching this, uh, uh, actually message the TLTPG Facebook page and and please uh, set your prize uh, because you deserve a mate. And just uh, anything else to add, good. No, I uh, congrats, man. That was an amazing battle. Uh, week two, I, I'm, I'm expecting to see more fire from you. Mm. Uh, but I, I, I think, and I think he's in my conference, so it's gonna be very, very interesting. He is. He is. He is. Of what Carlos does <clears throat> this season round. But I want to say congratulations to all the participants this week. Um, yes. I think there were some huge upsets. I think there were some huge upsets, which there I, I like. There were. There were. I like to watch those upsets. Uh, a huge difference between the power rankings. Yeah, there was. As well. So, Towards the end, there was. You know, LDL, man. This is mm. where the magic happens. LDL is like the most uh, unpredicted lead, league you can have, basically. Like, uh, anything can happen in the LDL, and that is the reason why we love it, and all you guys do as well, in a sense. As, as with that being said, uh... Uh, this has been your boy from Land and Under, Jetman99. Uh, and with the place, is good. <clears throat> you guys are amazing. Stay <clears throat> free. Split out. And I'm here, closing off the LDL Season 7 Week 1 Power Rankings. Please stay tuned for Week 2, uh, which should hopefully be up on time this week. Hopefully. So, uh, So uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been your boy from the Land and Under, Jetman99. Signing off and peace.